Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 34. Um, you can hear there's some crazy screaming in the background. Um, I think it's coming from that guy there, yeah. Um, continuing where we left off, we uh, killed a mimic here last time. We got a uh, cool carving here. Um, very good. Very good indeed, yes. So, uh, not too much to say. We're just going to continue our uh, fight against the Abyss and all of its evils. Um, oh yeah, so I was rewatching the video, right, um, as I was editing, and there was this one item I picked up that I didn't really talk about, which, uh, right here, Elizabeth's Mustard, right, uh, greatly restores HP for a limited duration. Um, does dramatic effect make the difference between a warrior's life and death? Yeah, so it's basically just sort of like a one-time boost. It's more about the lore of, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth being that, uh, mushroom lady that we talked to at the beginning that sort of set us on our quest in the abyss and yeah watch out for this guy because as usual if, if there's a, there's always bait to just charge ahead um and often you don't want to take it um so yeah, this guy we got you right in the back as that one was oh doing that um speaking of which i do want to try out the silver pen because yeah i uh i think i talked down on this a bit much because the main thing i didn't realize how long it lasts right like you can see there. Uh, okay. Oh, we both missed. Yeah. Okay, well. This one's. Oh wow. Nice 360. Okay. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the fact that it lasts so long actually does give you a lot of time to uh, move in. Um, I'm wondering if they changed that in the remastered. I don't think they did. I think I was just bad the first time. Uh, ooh, this guy has red eyes. Um, so I think he is a little stronger. Um, I think definitely did more damage there. So be careful, any enemy with red eyes um, is exceptional. Uh, I don't know how often they are in this game. I know in Dark Souls 3 there's, you'll see a lot, just like normal enemies with red eyes. And that'll uh, give you a, a harder time. Now I know somewhere in here there's another guy hiding. I don't think he's going to drop on us though. Some more rubbish. Oh, there he is. So yeah, we could uh, trade that if we wanted to. Uh, snugly, but I think I already showed that off. So let's get our pendant ready because, yeah, I think there's a mage somewhere, um, but in general here, let's see if I can get their attention. Someone chase me up the stairs here, maybe. Oh, hello. There's the mage. Uh, I might have to get tricky here, do like a jumping, plunging attack. Uh, so I don't need the pendant quite yet. All right, wish me luck. Oh, wow. <laughs> let's get a running start next time. Oh, that did anger him though. So we'll just let him come to us. And patience is always your friend in Dark Souls. Um, don't rush into a situation if you don't have to. You know, unless you're speedrunning. As always, speedrunning is the exception. Alright, you know what? Let's just, uh, just take the initiative here. Okay, and no one even came to us. So yeah, there is that. I think it's a mage up there. Yeah. So we may want to have our pendant ready now. So again, let's just sort of see who we can grab their attention. Take two out, out of the line of fire. Beautiful. Alright, so make sure no one's sneaking up on us from behind. They're gonna hit me down there. Just grab their attention, pull back, put some cover, and pick them off one at a time. We got a lot of range with this hubbard, so. Uh, use that to our advantage, get some Titanite shards. Um, now we can eventually drop down there. I don't think I have a bow <laughs> in her on this character, so I'm gonna have to make do. Go the long way. Um, let's see here. I think we're out of line of fire there. Yeah. There's a lot of laughing all over the place, so it's hard to tell where they might be. But if we continue onwards like this, and there's another one. Nice view. And I think we'll be making our way down there, yeah. For now. Let's see. Right, we're going to want to make this jump in a second here, but before we do that, let's go this way. Now, oh, yeah. So this gives us a hint, right? We can see that there's a treasure chest there. And I don't exactly remember how to get there. All I remember is that it always takes forever for me. Um, it might be another history wall. Or not. Maybe this one. Uh, yeah, so 
hopefully I can find it without having to make a cut here, but uh, we'll see. Okay, I do I feel like it is in the three walls, so I'm just going to be extra thorough here. <laughs> okay, it, it, it's not. Uh, usually, okay, if you see a lot of messages by a wall, um, that's usually a good indicator. That there's an illusory wall. Uh, either way, let's, let's make this jump. I feel like this is related to it. Let's move back so I'm going to take out this guy. He's choose to point at us instead of fight. Make sure we're that easy for us. Um, and make sure, because this is a mimic. And we're just going to swiftly not even give it a chance to get up. So this drops a very important item, uh, the crest key. Uh, this is going to open that door above the Artorius um, arena, if you remember. You sort of checked it out, heard the sort of scratching sound. So right here, let's see. Group of the crest, chant through the door, a powerful spot. Okay, nothing too important <laughs> on the key itself. But uh, we'll have a lot to talk about once we actually open the door. Which we might do this episode. Uh, let's see. Sort of drop down here. I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Uh, so back out here, was there somewhere to go? I think, yeah, so we can. Oh, yeah, this drops down to where we were before uh, as we were making our way up. And I think somewhere around here. We have to, like, we have to make our way to the right, I think. Um, let's back up the stairs here. This is where I may uh, make a cut soon <laughs> as I try to figure this out. Hello, uh, welcome back. So um, I know I said I would cut as I looked around, but um, while that happened, my controller actually died and um, I had rechargeable batteries. So had to put them in, wait for them to juice up a bit. Um, while that was happening, I actually did some research and apparently the uh, I was half right. There is a hidden wall here and um, I should have learned from how things went earlier. Because... There we go, that's how we open it. And with that, we'll make it to the chest. And as far as what's inside of here, uh, it's not a mimic. <laughs> uh, we get a red tight night chunk. Um, so yeah, a lot of build up for not that special of a thing. But that's fine. Um, I'm used to disappointment in my life. But I think we all are, so I won't try to milk it or anything. So let's see, let's get our helmet back on. And now, uh, I didn't look up how to drop over to the um, other lady, but I think we do that uh, where we saw the. Where was it? I know we were looking out somewhere. See, like now since I didn't play for a few minutes, I'm all disoriented again. Uh, I think so. We came from that way, right? All right, let's just go back this way, maybe. Um, oh yeah, I think we got to jump over here. Jump. Okay. Now, with the fire, which is not a bonfire, we can rest that. Uh, don't go that way. But, um, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Um, I did notice a ladder before where this lady was. Oh god, this is poisonous. Oh man, I pressed the wrong button. Locked when I tried to attack. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, playing a little bit of Dark Souls 2 actually uh, for no particular reason. Just that I felt it. Uh, a game that I never actually finished, and in that game. Uh, the build I've been doing has been a uh, Power Stance Katana build, uh, which is a reference to a certain anime character with green hair. Um, but anyway, it's been really fun <laughs> power stancing, but part of that mechanic is that uh, when you power stance two weapons, uh, the block button becomes the attack button. Uh, so I kind of just did that instinctively there. Um, so yeah, thankfully that sorceress did knock down the uh, treasure for us. So now if we make our way down here... Um, I don't think there's any real need to do that. Um, oh, we also gotta grab that one. But anyway, right here, it's gonna give us the Dark Fog, which uh, is actually what she cast on us, I believe. Um, it's kind of like just Poison Mist, but a little more abyssy, a little more darker. Um, I'm kind of on the clock, because like I said, I only charged my uh, my batteries for a little bit. Um, so it's about like a five minute gap. So we're gonna see how much that translates <laughs> into controller time. And um, it was really lucky, right, because my controller died as I was uh, sort of just standing around looking for things. Um, whereas if they died in this next part, things would have been really ugly. Um, so I think we do have our shortcut here now. Oh, yeah. Nice, very nice. All right, and then that's going to take us 
come back here. Which everyone should still be dead. Yeah. Uh, when you quit and reload, the bodies do just spawn back where the enemy originally was. So if that ever happens and you just see them flopping around, <laughs> that's uh, the explanation. So let's see. Do I want to press on or do I want to circle back? Um, play what? While we're here, and without resting at a bonfire, we will uh, take care of some of the loose ends. We're going to use that key that we found. And there's going to be another person we can talk to. So, first, over there, we spot a woman at a grave. Let's see what her deal is. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? So this is the soul of Artorias. We are going to give it to her because um, this is the first playthrough, which is the um, as close to being a good guy <laughs> as we're going to be. Um, but we can make a really cool item with this, so we're gonna, that's going to have to wait for uh, the new Game Plus run, though. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. So yeah, we don't get nothing for our good deed there. She will give us her old weapons. May the Lord guide thee. Uh, this is also um, one of the Knights of Gwyn, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we've met two Knights of Gwyn, right? Um, Artorius and uh, what's his name? Ornstein. Ornstein. Yeah. He uh, two Knights of Gwyn. There's four knights. Um, this is the third one. The uh, I think Kiernan is her name. She's the uh, assassin, right? Um, she does all the shadowy, dirty work of Gwyn. May the Lord guide thee. I guess she doesn't actually have too much to say. Right, just one more May time. the Lord guide thee. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so yeah, this is Artorius's grave. Uh, we put him out of his misery, and she came and sort of uh, laid him to rest. So I think she's gonna disappear next time we unload the area. But um, yeah, she gave us her weapons, which I think uh, if we take that, we'll of course have some lore about her. Uh, Kiernan, or Siren, yeah, I'm bad with names, <laughs> especially Dark Souls names. Um, but yeah, it's a curved sword, uh, one of Lord Wind's knights, branches her sword in a mesmerizing dance, etched the darkness, dire streaks of gold. Um, so yeah, that is kind of a cool effect, um, though I can't equip it. Um, actually, wait, it might still work, though. Um, and then I guess I'll put on the other one, which is this here. Um, first distracted by dazzling streaks of the gold trader, then stung by the vicious poison of the stagger. So, uh, yeah, this is almost like power stancing before power stancing was a thing. And I don't know if you actually get the special moveset by dual wielding them, if you have the right stats. But, um, yeah, they, they got like that cool sort of glowy trace effect. Very spinny, very cool weapons that I've never actually used. But, um, yeah, the weapons of Kiernan. It's here. God, I already forgot her name. <laughs> but we are, uh, we're going to stick with the Halberd today. Um, so, yeah, we talked with her. Now let's uh, go the door and see, see who's hiding on us. Hey, at the top. Yeah, this, this character is going to have a similar story to uh, Havel, a uh, cool guy who is sort of just locked away and forgotten about in the tower. But we have found his freedom. So, if we take a look over here, we're going to meet Hawkeye Go, the last Knight of Gwyn that we haven't met yet. Mm, a visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to me, I'm afraid. So yeah, um, like most NPCs, he'll sell some stuff. Um, he's in a bit of a situation though. Um, he doesn't have much to sell, just some stones, his own poop. And um, he's actually the source of those carvings. So we can buy two of them here, the uh, hello and the uh, thank you. And you'll notice too, when you drop the carvings, it's Huck's, um, his voice. So somehow he like puts his voice in there. Uh, he does sell this unique weapon though, the Goths or Goes Great Arrow, arrow which is um, used with that Dragon Slayer giant bow that we found in Anarmando. So if you want to buy some cool unique arrows that he makes, uh, let's see. Go over. Personally crafts each stone tip and wraps the shaft tightly with tree bark. So yeah. Farewell, human. Lead thy life 
as thou seest fit. So as you can see right here, uh, Go, he was uh, he was a ranger. Um, you know, we had Ornstein and Artorius on the front line. We had Siernan doing like the stealth work, and Go was in the back just with artillery support because um, you notice he's a uh, he's very he's one big boy. This is a big bow, and there's a lot of energy when you pull that thing back. So let's see. Let's talk with him a bit. See what he has oh, to say. Well, comes again. Oh, what a strange one. I believe he does have a decent amount to say. If thou seeketh to explore this domain, be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. See, so yeah, a bit of a warning there. Um, we actually did see this dragon. That was Calamite, who um, sort of stopped on the bridge and stared us at us for a second earlier in the level. Mm. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Yeah, that's the thing that always runs with me. What good is a dog with no hairs to hunt? Um, if you remember too. So he, him and Gwyn go way back, right? Like, what do you think he was shooting with these arrows? Um, dragons, of course, yes. And now that the dragons are extinct, he is a dog with no hairs to hunt. Mm. There's very little to be said. And that's all he's gonna say. So yeah. Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. Uh, we'll actually be back um, to talk with him later on, though. That's gonna be uh, after we take care of the main business here. Uh, See, so yeah, let's go back to where we were. Take our short butt, shortcut back down. Um, do I want to spend my souls? I think I do, because now that we have the shortcut open. Um, there's only gonna be like two or three enemies we gotta fight again, and then we'll be back to where we left off. So let's go ahead and do that. I, think, uh, I don't think we have enough for two levels, but probably at least one. That's gonna help, and ooh, we do have an extra humanity. Which I, don't, I don't know if it's worth killing this again. I mean, we got pretty far. Let's use five. Um, yeah, no luck. Um, just barely enough, actually. And there we go. So, let's see. I think this guy is here. Yep. You up. And then, take out this crowd. Don't even touch me. Alright, and down we go. Seal magic elevators. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and set it back up. This we die. Uh, okay, so this is. I was thinking about this elephant right now. I think this situation is gonna be. Okay, I think this is gonna help us a lot here. So as you can see, there's uh, two mages. I don't know exactly when, but if we take a peek, there are of course going to be these bozos trying to ambush us. But they jump the gun. Let's see if we can get them to start. Yeah. Ah, too slow. Whoa. Okay, let's uh, heal for a second. That is the disadvantage, is that you can't have your opponent and your Estes Vasco out at the same time. Let's see. A bit of cover for us. Okay, yeah. This was a part specifically that gave me a lot of trouble when I wasn't using the pen. Um, because and they were pretty nice actually. Because what I remember, they'll they'll be barraging you <laughs> as soon as they see you over there. And combined with the small guys, two of them, when they get in the rhythm where they are sort of like covering each other, right? Like they're they're casting the rather than getting hit with two at once, you're they're um, shooting one and then. As the other one is preparing, the other one shoots again, and then you get like no openings. So, very annoying situation that Pendant helps a lot with. So, right here, uh, we're gonna fight a weird enemy, which it's, it's unique. I don't know if we see any more of these kind of guys in the game, but uh, oh well, it's farther than I thought. Whoa. Ow, rolled into that one. He's like, 
is a tree log and uh, and like a stone on a chain. All in one. Oh, yeah, watch out. And let's put him out of the Yeah, all of the lump of fish. This is one of the most uh, interesting things, I think, in maybe not the game, but. Yeah, because then he just drops, like, run of the mill chain armor. Like, there's no special items explaining what the heck that was, or what, <laughs> what its deal is, or why it's here. Um, but probably had something to do with the abyss, so. Speaking of which, we are really going to be getting into it soon here, because if we pull this elevator up, you'll see... Um, oh, yeah, there's going to be a guy on here. I'm glad I picked over, because that would have startled me bad. Um, but yeah, if we make our way down... Now we're really going to be into this. And there is a bonfire for us straight ahead. Just take a peek real quick. Now, I don't know if you can warp to this bonfire, so I think we uh, are going to want to get all of our business done with while we're down here. But um, I'll just quickly peek in so we can get the title. Don't just run straight ahead. It seems like a pass, but you'll fall and die. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in chasm of the abyss yes um, let's kill this oh i missed no come back okay got him yeah because he would have run into a crowd <laughs> hi guys um that would not been a good time so anyway we're about at that point though so i'm gonna save this for next time next time will be part 35 and uh yeah we are uh <laughs> I'm making quite a play this year, I'm realizing. Um, just going on a quick tangent here. Um, when I first started this whole thing, I was hoping with the idea that, like, oh, let's make something that's going to be easily, quickly watchable. We'll get through all Dark Souls in, like, ten parts. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that, of course, didn't happen. I'm learning that if we want to do a proper showcase of this game, you're gonna, it's going to take time. So, um, for those of you who have been sticking through this journey, uh, thank you so much, especially as I make it. I've got, like not that many subscribers and it's like one or two of you that actually comments so shout out to you guys um but yeah we are gonna call it a day here and um gaze into the abyss as it definitely gazes back a little it's just gonna, yeah very creepy part of the game but anyway guys that's gonna do it i uh hope you had fun watching i had fun making it and i will see you guys next time bye bye